I'm obsessed with being efficient. Even though I work alone and I'm only making one or two pairs of boots at a time, I still want things to be done as efficiently as possible. Today I'm going to give you a teeny tiny example of how I work and how I strive to do things with as little motion as possible. This pair of boots has a top band of diamond shapes and it would be tempting to cut out one diamond and then cut out another diamond but that is not the most efficient way to do it. Instead I'm going to make all the cuts on this side of the diamonds rotate it make all of these cuts rotate it again one final rotation All of my diamonds are cut. I have an exciting announcement to make, but first I'm going to give you a little tour of my shop. As you can see, this big open area here is pretty much empty. That's because my personal collection of last used to be in here on shelves. And because nature abhors a vacuum, since there's a big empty space here, it is being filled with stuff. I just bought a whole pallet full of size 33 bobbins that have been sorted by color but not put away yet. And that's all this mess on the floor. And this is a bucket of lasts for my personal last collection because you can never have too many lasts. And speaking of lasts, that brings you to my big announcement. Some of you may have bought last from a company called Boot Last or Foursquare in Waco, Texas. The owners were Terry and Ephraim Gleck and they were super nice guys. They're still around but they've started another business and they sold Boot Last to me. I am now the proud owner of Boot Last so if you need cowboy boot last or shoe last please give me a call because I'm selling last now. If there's any interest, I want to add months and last to my inventory. And if you have a last that you need copied, I'm happy to help you copy that so that you can order last from your own models. I'm pretty excited about being able to supply last to the bespoke footwear industry. In case you're wondering what happened to all of my last shelves, I moved them to the back room. My shop is 2,500 square feet, and fortunately I had a back room to put all of my lasts in. Now the ceiling up here is 10 feet tall and the ceiling in the back room is 8 feet tall and the last shelves are 8 feet tall, so no problem, right? Well, the problem was that there's a 6 foot door between here and there. So every single last shelf had to be unloaded and then the top chopped off and then shoved to the back room and then the top put back on and screwed back into place and then reloaded with last. It took me several weeks to get that all done. The good news is that it's all been done. All of my lasts have been moved to the back room. All of these lasts have been moved in and put into place. I still have a floor full of boxes of bobbins. I'm just not even going to worry about it and I'm going to go build boots. What is this? Yeah, this one. That is kangaroo. Oh, this, is this is kangaroo. This is kangaroo. This is kangaroo. <laughs> There's lots of kangaroo. Indian. There. There's kangaroo in, the in there? Ostrich. Ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. I'm a 
find her stool. I want to find one more thing that I haven't got yet. And I haven't ever got out of the house. Oh, oh, this is a piece. Oh, look, Lydia's put more in her bag. Oh, this is alligator, <laughs> isn't it? Yes, that's alligator. Now I'm back for bookmarks because it's got like a... I've already got something for the bookmarks. Most of you are going to be for bookmarks. Okay, Lydia, that's enough. That's your bag. Okay. Look who's here. It's Morgan. Hey, Morgan with the headphones. Yes. I'm never going to be able to get these back in now. I just wanted to show everyone that you're back here working for me again. All of these look the same, but they're not. They're three different colors, and they have labels that look like this. This is where it says what color it is. Can you read that? No, you can't. So you have to open each box? I have to look really, really hard. Okay, this doesn't even have anything at all. Here, I'm going to show you what this is. See, this is blank. Okay, hold it still and I'll zoom in. It does appear to be blank. Completely blank. So this one I'm going to have to open. This one looks blank, but if you look really, really hard, you can see the indents of ruby tone. Okay, let me see. Doubt I can see it. Yeah, yeah, I can barely see it too. So it's not like printed on, it's just like embossed? Yeah. I'm so glad that you're back working for me again. I have anger. Where are you gonna, what are you gonna do with it? Put it in boxes with no labels. <laughs> so you open it up and you'll think, oh, this is the happy box. No, it's anger. You open up a new box. Oh, this must be the happy box. No, it's more anger. It's just a whole warehouse full of thread boxes of anger. Sounds interesting. Back to work. Thank you. Think about all the ones of dollars you're making. Are you paying me any dollars? There's a check for you on Paige's workbench. Okay. I get a small amount of dollars. Does that take care of a few of the anger boxes? It takes care of like three anger boxes. How many are there total? Take a look. <laughs> there is my spray bottle that I have been looking everywhere for. Paige stole it. Little brat. She has her own, right there.